everyone and welcome to Chef Mooney. Now today's recipe, I'm gonna do a beautiful Cajun spiced swordfish. Swordfish is a beautiful fish. I'm not sure if you can get it where you are, but if, uh, if you can pick it up, give it a try. It's quite meaty. It's not a, a, a soft sort of flaky fish, but it is very delicious. I'm gonna put some Cajun spice on mine and I'm just gonna plain grill it. Now Cajun spices go beautifully together with sour cream, so I'm gonna add some sour cream to my garnish towards the end. I'm gonna have some nice grilled asparagus with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. It's gonna be delicious. You come with me and I'll show you how to make the recipe. Okay, so here's the swordfish. I've got some nice thick steaks here. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Cajun spice um, seasoning, if you like. We wanna give it a really good thick smothering of this spice. And you don't have to use swordfish for this, you can use any fish. I'm just going to do the edges as well. Now just a touch of olive oil over the top of each piece. And then we're going to put them straight onto a hot grill pan. It's on a medium high heat and then straight on. Now you want to cook this nice and gently. You've got some of the spices left over on the plate. I'm just going to push those on to the fish. Now we want to cook this a couple of minutes on that side and just let it slowly do its thing. And then we're going to flip it over. I've got it on the, um, the griddle part with the, with the marks on there so it gives it a nice char grill. Now while my fish is cooking beautifully, nice and slow on the back, I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on this side of the pan and I'm going to toss on some asparagus. I just love asparagus with, uh, with anything really. And I've got two bunches um, of asparagus for a couple of dollars, so you can't go wrong there. A little bit of salt and some pepper. That's all you need. Now it's time to turn the fish over. We've got that beautiful seared colour on that side. Flip it over there. Just drizzle more oil. Okay, so the fish has had about a couple of minutes either side and it's about ready to come off. The asparagus, uh, this time of year can be a little bit woody, so I'm giving that a little bit extra time. And I'm just going to sneak in a couple of cherry tomatoes on the vine, like that. Just hit those with just a smidgen of oil, just to get them going. A little bit of salt. Touch of pepper. We've got our fish off now and I just want to let that rest and our asparagus and tomato cooking beautifully there. And I've just turned the heat off and the rest of the cooking is just going to be in whatever heat is left in, the, in this grill plate. So I've just turned the gas right off now. We're going to be ready to serve up in a second. Is a combination of just all the juices from from the fish. I'm going to put in just a couple of drops of balsamic vinegar. Just a few drizzles of balsamic vinegar. And give it a good mix around with all those lovely Cajun spices. And then we're gonna just nap it over the over the fish. Going... 
So there you have it, that's my Cajun swordfish with some cherry tomatoes, asparagus, fresh asparagus, a little bit of balsamic vinegar in with the juices, all mixed together and served with a little bit of sour cream, which really does go well with Cajun spice. And let's have a little bit of a taste test now. If you haven't tried this dish, you really must. It is sensational. It looks amazing. Time for the taste test. It's beautiful and soft. Look at that. I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream on there. This really is an amazing dish. Exquisite flavors, absolutely. You gotta give this a try. Well, thanks again for watching Chef Mooney and I hope you give that recipe a try. And until next time, you have yourselves a great week.